Hi everyone, so for my go to glam makeup look I always like to start off with my brows. The one that I've been liking lately is this sleek brow pencil and it's in the shade dark and I'll link all the products in the info box just to let you know as always. And then after that I like to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and I'm just going to carve out my brows and really clean them up. I do like to take a fluffier brush afterwards and diffuse the concealer so it looks as natural as possible. Then I'm going to go in with the concealer on my lids as well just to prime them and I'm using the same fluffy brush by Eco Tools. It's actually their concealer brush and I'm going to just buff that out. I'm then going in with the Banana Dreams powder by W7 and setting that concealer in place. Trust me when I tell you this, it's literally going to help the blending of the eyeshadows afterwards. I'm then going to be using some tape and I like to angle the tape towards my eyebrows and that's how I like it with my eye shape. I just feel like it makes it look more cat eye. You can lower it down a bit but I like it quite high up towards the um, tip of the brow. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and starting off first with the burnt orange shade and using that as my transition colour. Then I went in with this bright orange shade and used this um, just underneath the burnt orange colour and these are going to be your transition colours. I also went in with a clean fluffy brush just to diffuse the edges and next I'm going to be using the shade Cypress Umber and I'm really going to concentrate this on the outer V area just under the burnt orangey shades that we used earlier on and this is just going to make the eyeshadow look a bit more smokier towards the outer bit of the eye. And just make sure that you take your time with this and make sure that everything is smooth and nicely blended. I did go back in with the burnt orange colour just to um, smooth out the edges and add a bit more colour because I felt like it was going away a bit. I then used my one of my favourite colours in the palette called Primavera. And I actually wetted this with um, some Smashbox Primer Water when it was on the brush. And this makes it go on much more intense and it looks so amazing and I just applied that all over the mobile lid up to the brown then i'm going in with my nyc liquid eyeliner and created a wing liner i did try with the tape at first but i'm more comfortable with doing it without the tape but if you feel like doing it with the tape feel free to do that and then here i'm using the brow artist plumper by l'oreal in medium dark to set my brows in place I'm then going to curl my eyelashes because I'm going to be applying some falsies. I still curl my lashes all the time anyways, but for mascara I am using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And by the way guys, um, the camera did cut after me applying the falsies. So on my lower lash line I did apply some of the bright orange shade that we use. And then I went in with the Cypress Umber shade closer to the lash line to smoke out the lower lash line. And then applied some mascara on my lower lashes as well. And now on to the footage that I had to refilm because my camera cut all the um, face footage. Um, so I'm obviously my PJs right now, I filmed this today. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I did want to show you how I did the face makeup. So I first did go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer Corrector in orange around my mouth area. And then for foundation, I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD foundation in tan. I do have a review on this, so it will be linked in the info box. And then once I'm done buffing that in, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again under my eyes and just going to blend that out with a sponge. And once I'm done blending it all out, I am going to be going in with the W7 Banana Dreams Powder again, just to do a bit of baking underneath. Um, I always, always bake now, it's just like a must do for me. And I leave it there for like literally two seconds and brush it all off. I did do a bit of baking around my mouth area just to set that um, area in place and then for bronze I'm using the MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm really going to bronze up my face I feel like sometimes when I do like foundation and concealer I look a bit paler so I just like to add a bit more color to my face especially around my cheek area and on my forehead and I did use the MAC mineralized skin finish in global glow to give a nice highlight to my skin I really really like this highlighter because it it looks more of a, like a wet glow now back to the original footage um i am going to do my lips literally i've been obsessed with this um, lip combo so many of you guys have been asking about it and all i do is use this la girl endless lip pencil in true brown and fill my lips in with this and then i go in with the maybelline matte lipstick in nude embrace and i just fill the center with this and it literally makes your lips look so plump and 
I don't know I just really 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 love this lip combo and it's drugstore so you can't go wrong with this and it makes a nice true brown lip color and then finally I'm going to be setting my whole face with some Smashbox primer water and yeah this is the end of this tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I would say this is the look I really want to go for it when I want to look my best it's literally my go-to look at the moment so make sure to give a thumbs up to this video I love you guys and I'll see you next time bye Thank you.